G'day, this is VK6XAM. Now I've got a new project to do. I'm going to be changing that four element beam. It's a six metre four element beam with a folded dipole and I'm going to actually change that to a five element beam. Uh, it's an LFA style beam. So uh, I'll record this in stages and uh, you'll be able to see the construction of the antenna. Okay. This is the uh, aluminium, all packaged, and uh, I'll start opening that one up now. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the main boom there. Okay, so I'm just going to check uh, a couple of, got two different size tubings here. Just want to make sure that uh, I've got the correct size, first of all, uh, for the driven element. Uh, I've got to make sure that uh, the ends can slide in into each other. And uh, as you can see, it's a very tight fit. And uh, it's a, you can see it's a very close tolerance and it's a perfect fit. So that I'm actually happy with. Um, very necessary, we don't want excessive movement in the tubing. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've, I've printed off the design and uh, I'm going to actually start measuring and uh, cutting this the, the tubes to length. Okay, so here we have the, uh, all the pieces cut, ready to go. Uh, the only thing I need to do is form the bend for the, is to form the bend for these, the last slide in pieces for the loop. G'day, VK6XAM, returning. Uh, everything's all marked off now. Everything's all cut to length. So what we're going to be doing is going to be using marking out and drilling out all the holes. We're going to be using uh, store for insulators and we're also going to be using nut certs. We're going to be using these nut certs into the uh, tubing sub. So Mark it all out, going to drill the holes and we'll get that put in.
Okay, so here we have the uh, nut certs installed in the boom. And the Storf insulators actually fit perfectly over the top. That's it, that makes a perfect fit there. Okay, so this is the assembled LFA antenna. You can see the Stolf insulators. Okay, so that's the loop part of the antenna and that will be the connection point. Um, I require a rod to go through the center of those to give it some reinforcing that'll stop these corners that'll stop these corners here from dropping down uh, when the aerial is in in situ and now to form the RF choke. And there we have it, the LFA is up in place. You can see the elements are nice and shiny still. No problem. We'll give that a test and see how it goes. CQ, 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 CQ. Victor Kilo 6 X-Ray Alpha mic. Victor Kilo 6 X-Ray Alpha mic listening. Okay, 6 X-Ray Alpha mic, the VK5 Bravo Mike, VK5 Bravo Charlie. Yeah, VK5 uh, Bravo Charlie, VK6 X-Ray Alpha Mike. You're a 5x9, a 5x9 with a bit of QSB, a bit of QSB in there. Uh, good afternoon uh, to you there over in South Australia, uh, VK6 X-Ray Alpha Mike. Uh, the name this way is Adrian uh, over in Perth, Western Australia. Back to you. Yeah, VK6 X-Ray Alpha Mike. It's nearly got there, Adrian. Uh, I'll give you a wreck report next over, but copy most of that okay. It's lost just it when I went around north, but it's on you now. VK6 X-Ray Alpha Mike, this is VK5CC, name is Brian, Bravo, Romeo, India, Alpha, November, Brian. QDH is Gawler, 40 k northeast of Adelaide. I think it's the first time we've probably worked. VK6 AM, VK5CC. Yeah, VK5 uh, BC, VK6 XAM. Yeah, fine there, Brian. Uh, very good trip this way. Um, to Perth, Western Australia. Yeah, it's my first contact, uh, first time on six metres. Uh, first time on six metres, I'm uh, running a uh, five element uh, LFA uh, a Yagi there, uh, five element LFA. And uh, I, I normally get on in the morning. Uh, we have a, a sked on at uh, first thing in the morning around about 6.30 in the morning. And I usually have the beam pointing to the northwest. Uh, at the moment, I've got it pointing east. Um, VK6, uh, Bravo Charlie, VK6 XAM. Yeah, no worries, VK6 6 XAM, VK5 BC. Yeah, good stuff, uh, Adrian. Good on the uh, 5 element LFA. Your 5 and 9, I think, some QSB there. I'm running an IC7600 uh, amplifier and about 200 watts at the moment into a 6 element uh, 
deal was, uh, oh, no YU-70F uh, design the Argy I built myself. And uh, it's about 16 metres up, so it's a story this way. I drink good signal and good to hear, and uh, it's good to new on six, that's good. VK6, XAF, VK5BC. Yeah, VK5BC, VK6XAM. Yeah, you come up with an S9 this way. Yeah, you come up with an S9, and uh, I'm ecstatic because this is my first uh, real voice, uh, D uh, not DX, my ver uh, first uh, long distance contact on six metres. So uh, I'm going to uh, uh, celebrate it today, and uh, I'm going to put you down on uh, qrz.com shortly. And uh, good to uh, speak to you. I'm actually just doing a, a quick recording. I'm running an IC7300. Uh, uh, this way, and uh, conditions are spot on. Um, my phone has beeped in the background, so someone else has probably got a copy on me as well. Um, uh, possibly uh, one of my uh, people that are normally on the sked uh, in the uh, first thing in the morning there. Okay, brilliant there, Brian. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'm running a uh, homebrew antenna as well. It's a homebrew, but it's an American design. Uh, which I copied and uh, seems to be performing uh, quite well today. So uh, very good there. Um, what are the, what's the weather? What's the conditions like over there in uh, in uh, South Australia? Um, today is going to be a reasonably warm day. Uh, probably going to get up to around about say 27 there. Uh, VK uh, VK5 uh, BC VK6 XAM. VK6 XAM VK5 BC. Yeah, fine, Adrian. Uh, lovely signal, mate. It sounds good quality. The 7300 is doing a good job. I'm just spotting you on the log here, so uh, some others might come up and uh, work you as a few VK5s around, and uh, yeah, you're certainly strong enough for uh, most people to work you. It's good signal indeed, and good on the antenna there. The weather here was a bit better today. It's in the mid-20s. Well, actually, it's 29 outside at the moment, so a bit sticky. Um, but uh, the last two days have been stinkers into the 40s and very, very hot and windy. has been uh, terrible, but today's a bit better. At least it's a bit cooler, so it's a little bit humid. That's the story this way, and I'm pleased to be your first long-distance six-metre contact, VK6. And I, I do EQSL, I do Lockwood of the World, and uh, sometimes I'll do uh, QRZ if I'm asked to. Yes, and I confirm it in uh, Club Log as well. VK6XAM, VK5BC. Okay.